This is money. It can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a Lamborghini. It can buy you dinner suspended 150 feet in the sky. It can buy you the world's most expensive phone. In today's video, we're gonna be exposing you to the lifestyle of the rich. If you can think it, you can have it. And if you can confess it, you can possess it. And what better way to do that than taking you on a seven million pound yacht in the heart of Dubai. Those that say it can't be done should get out of the way of those that are doing it. Let's go. They made me take my shoes off. This is the number one reason why I should own my own yacht. But listen, I have to experience this first. We had already seen the upper deck, but now we needed to see the lower deck. We needed to see what it was like to actually stay in one of these luxury yachts. We're gonna go to the downstairs area of the yacht, see it there. The waves are beginning to kick in, like I told you. The only water I trust is the living water, but let's go. We have room number one, a bedroom. You can, uh, uh, a lot of people come on holiday, couples, uh, husbands and wives, girlfriends and boyfriends, I can't relate. <laughs> You've got a Sony TV, about 20 inches in a boat while we, we are still on water. On sea, there's also a bathroom, dual sink, a one head shower. Now, we enter into bathroom number two. Standard, standard toilet, standard shower. So now, we're moving to the front of the yard. Let's go see it and let's hope some waves come because I want to feel the motion because Christ is the solid rock that I stand on. Hallelujah. Let's move. This is very beautiful. Look at beautiful Dubai. There's multiple people also in their own yards. Look at them. They're beginning to act up. <laughs> si silence. <laughs> the waves are beginning to act up. A lot of these people are here on holiday and talking to them you can actually see that their mindsets are a bit different from mine we're doing this and this is going to be a one-off we're going to go on this yacht we're going to pay our whatever it is maybe 300 ad to be on this boat to eat with everyone no one's mindset is i want to own this true intelligence is knowing what you want to do in life and pursuing it until it happens being persistent in it no matter what happens being consistent in it having all type of attitude bulldog tenacity that no matter what happens i'm gonna chase it that's true intelligence the world will trick you to think that true intelligence is in what mark you get on a paper if that's the type of occupation that you want to get into then that's good for you but as for me true intelligence is knowing what i want to do in life and pursuing it to the last degree what i mean by this is that there are certain people with a PhD in economics, but no PhD in actually making money. How come it's always the lecturers that teach you on business, but they actually have no business of their own? I remember being in Dubai at this point and going to Dubai more, and there being a section where you can rent cars all the way from Lamborghini to Rolls Royce. And I remember people spending their money 300 AD just to ride drive in a Lamborghini for one hour. I get that on an exposure basis and I do promote that because you have to expose yourself to these luxury things, but that's not where it should stop. After exposing yourself to that type of lifestyle, you should be driven to actually go and get it yourself. So many people stop at an exposure basis of I've seen it, I like it, and many people are too satisfied with renting a Lamborghini for one hour instead of owning it for a lifetime. Look, look at these people, look at my guy. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> Timothy. <coughs> Tim. Joe. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> That's my guy. Now I'm an enigma in Dubai. <laughs> so soon we're gonna get closer to the Burj Al Arab, one of the world's most expensive hotels in the world. And by far, one of the most expensive hotels in Dubai. You guys are gonna love it. And trust me, if you guys want us to do a video in the Burj Al Arab, make sure you comment below. Tell us what you want to see in the Burj Al Arab. Here is the 
food. You guys know I always do food tests. Mm. Okay. Yeah. This is actually disgusting. Minus two. Dubai is absolutely beautiful, and it is a dream destination. The reason why I love it so much is because of how many people come here with a spirit striving to succeed. At this point, our day was over, and it was time to conclude. Now I'm going to do the taste test. Yes, I do too many tasters, right? I got the pesh and shoot, because I'm a passionate guy, you know? Passion fruit, mango, pineapple. Let's see what he's talking about. God bless you. God bless you. This is powerful. Oh, yeah. This is powerful. Yeah. I, you made this one with love. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Uh, this, one, this one was made with passion. Let me tell you. you know, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, we finished the yard tour. To say the least, it was amazing. It was awesome. What was amazing about it was not necessarily the yard itself, but to expose myself to this type of lifestyle. You have to remember, if there are billionaires that are in the world, what more you? What makes them able to possess all the wealth in the world and not you? The only difference between you and Bill Gates or you and Elon Musk is information. I'll tell you one story quickly. The last time I came to Dubai, I was staying on the Palm Jumeirah. And I'm staying in the Palm Jumeirah and we're in this one of the best hotels in the Palm. And it was actually like an apartment complex. And we're inside there, and you know, I'm with my team, and we begin to like, we, we begin to pray, thanking God for what He has given us. And security come out of nowhere, and they're banging on the door, banging on the door, like this isn't the time for prayer. You can't pray now. And they were just shouting at us or whatever. Long story short, the last thing that I left with was, if my brother owned that hotel, it wouldn't be no issue at all. I would simply call my brother and be like, listen, fire this guy now. This has been producer UJ checking out. I hope you guys love this video. As always, we're trying to bring the best content to you. Let me know what you thought of this video and let me know what you want to see next. This is producer UJ checking out. It's not fake money, it's real. Okay, it is fake money, <laughs> but it's just for the aesthetic, you know, it is for the video, for the aesthetic. <laughs>